Welcome back to Everyday Kitchen with Vern Lindsay and Frank Murphy from Star 102.1. Like a true professional, I got you it right. are. I got it right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. This is the Benton's bacon that's come out of. We drained it a little bit on a wire rack. It took nine minutes on the one side and only barely three minutes on the other side. And I was using a convection bake, so that's a little faster than a right. normal oven. And we crumbled up some of the smaller, thinner pieces. We're going to throw those into an omelet. Right, we are. All right. So you've uh, earlier you uh, scrambled I up did a little whisk in there, uh, two eggs, and I'm going to do some more whisk in a minute. Right. right. As soon as I dumped these into the pan, and I had cooled the pan just a uh, trifle, because I didn't want to burn the uh, eggs when I first poured them in. Have you ever in. made a trifle? Yes. Well, my wife does. She's got a. In fact, that's her thing that she loves trifles. That she, every time we go to a wedding, it doesn't matter what she takes a trifle. Well, she, no, she buys them a trifle dish. Oh. It doesn't matter what they've registered for. She doesn't care. She goes to uh, the, the store that sells trifle dishes and buys them a trifle bowl and a set of four little trifle bowls, and that's what they get. So if you ever invite us to a wedding, that's what you're getting, tough. You know, hmm. sorry. All right, I'm gonna do a, um, here's the deal on, the, on my omelets. Yeah, you, you put you a little wanna, Pam in there, didn't you? I put some Pam in there. I'm gonna let the, the liquidy part set, and then I'll start putting in some of these, uh, some of these vegetables. I'll put in some, you know, the peppers and, uh, and onion there. And I call this one, this first one is gonna be the barbecue one. So I, barbecue. I like to get, now I, I, I lost weight a while back, so I used to you load it up. You lost a lot. Yeah, I used to load it up with a lot of uh, chicken or I mean, pulled pork would be awesome in here. And because it's a special occasion, give me some of those bacon crumbles. Okay, special we're gonna, occasion. We're gonna throw those in there. Okay. Sprinkle a few on there. Um, and save some for yourself, because we're making another one after okay. this for you. Right. And for a barbecue omelet, generally, you know, this sharp cheddar will work for Mexican omelets sure. and for the barbecue omelet. So get a little of that in there. And I, again, I used to overdo it. Now I'm trying to do more moderation. And this, I really don't know what this is, other than that it's my wife's homemade barbecue rub. So I'm just going to just, just Paprika, take, cumin, yeah, it's just, it's a Yeah, it's a basic, but I'll just mix like a little that. bit of that I'm in there. Looks like it's in there. Yeah. Try a little bit. Just a little. Oh yeah. It's I know it's sweet. I know she's got some uh, definitely got some sugar in there. And then I'll give it a, some zing a also. And then But it's not going to zing it too bad. I bought this uh, Williamson Brother barbecue sauce. There's this uh, place down in um, Georgia one time. We just went down there near my brother-in-law's house and the turns out went down to Georgia. Well, but turns out that's where the headquarters was and I liked it and I bought their sauce. Oh, look at that. You're already ready to flip. Yeah. Oh. Now sometimes, depending on, because I put the dry rub in the middle, yeah, um, I did not put the wet sauce in the middle. I'm going to use that as a garnish on top. Okay. But I will occasionally, uh, you can, like for maybe when I make you an Italian one, I'll put tomato sauce, pizza, spaghetti sauce in the middle. Because that'll, uh, you know, add a little more um, color to it, a little zing to it also. Now, you've got you've to tell the folks about uh, the Einstein group you're in. Oh, that, yeah. Because that's the first place I ever saw Frank was right after you got to town. It's funny. I've worked at three different radio stations yeah. in my time in Knoxville, but only one improv group. Yeah, it's yeah. an improv group. Right. Yeah. I've been with them for eight years. The group's 16 years old. And over the course of time, I'm number two in seniority now. I've been with them eight years. And we just moved after all those years in the old city, which was awesome, by the way. Yeah. Uh, we just moved to Market Square. So I hope that you'll come. We got to. Wow. Are you know, going to be inside a building? You'll be outside. Where are you going to be? Yeah, we're buskers now. We're just handing it with You're a guitar hand, case. No, we, well, we still are buskers, which means we ask for tips. Oh, okay. But mm -hmm. we we're going to do it inside the square room, which is more of a theater than you know. We previously we were in an old saloon in the old Upstairs. city, and it was awesome. But that's a different but all atmosphere. All the people got drunk and fell watch down the stairs. Watch right? your fingers. All right. Um, let, me, let me give a little uh, Uncle Buck assist here. Yeah. Um, Yes, so there's that, and put, let's see, I want to put some barbecue sauce on that. I'll bet you do. And I want to put some bacon next to it. that. Yeah. So, here we this go. This is Frank's lunch, he's already told us. Oh, there's <laughs> no doubt, I'm eating. Here we go, and then here's you do, you do. That's a little, oh, okay. I, well, it came out a little fast. Almost I was gonna, like a, you wanted I, to do a Zorro, didn't you? I wanted to, uh, to yeah, make, an it, F make Frank, it pretty. Yeah. But ultimately, by the time, once you bite into it, it doesn't matter. You because, got a fork over there. Oh, yeah. I got a fork. It, it's going to look ugly anyway.
No. I heard you had a Bob Cor it's the one impression you do. That's completely untrue. Oh, okay. I have not lived in Tennessee all my life. I was wrong. Like Bob that. Corker has lived in Tennessee all his life. <laughs> No, I got, I got, I got that. I, and I got Gilbert Gottfried. The other one, my New York impression. Naturally, this family walks into a talent agency, but I better stop right there because this is a family program. Okay. Yeah. So. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save some of this for you because I know you. Yeah, I, I noticed it's half gone. Line. What happened Frank's to line. it? Well, China was. I left it on Vern's yeah. side of the table. The bacon's <laughs> half gone. The omelet's half <laughs> gone. God. I thought I was the guest. You were the guest. Yeah. You're the guest cook. <laughs> The guest cook. Put your guests to work we'll here. We'll show you guests. At the Vern Lindsay show. <laughs> yeah. Vern used to get to eat a lot of that stuff. Mm. Now, we actually had Alan Benton here. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he actually cooked up some uh, bacon, and he did some. Uh, and it's good to learn. He did it in a pan, so this is great to learn the other way to do it in the oven. Now, I did put this uh, recipe, the, uh, the oven cooking and uh, pictures and all that stuff, on my website at frankmurphy.com. Frankmurphy.com. And, and don't a, you have a blog and stuff? It's too? all right there. You go to frankmurphy.com. Okay. And, and stuff. you can find it's, everything. It all loads right in. And if you look through the archives, you'll see a picture of me and Alan Benton at Together. the International Biscuit Festival. Yeah. Yes. Um, I had a chance to visit with him there. And did you get to eat any of the stuff there? Oh, my gosh, everything. Oh. They, uh, they had booked Einstein Simplified to perform at the Biscuit Festival. You want so, that off? Yes, please. All right, I'm going to put this was, back for you. It was outstanding. Let's fix this up for yeah, me. Put a little, uh, this one I'll try a little harder to... Put your, give you back your fork. There you go. All right, so this one's got... Yeah, you really well, did that nice for me. Beautiful. <laughs> Show that in slow motion. Mm. I'm going to put yourself some bacon on there. And okay. We'll, and I'm going to eat some of yours, you know you. Okay, yeah, you got to get me back. Egg thief. Egg thief, yes. I'm going to clean myself up. <laughs> we'll be right back, folks. <laughs> okay. Get myself a little rag and a little washcloth, and we'll be back after we've had a few bites to eat, and we're going to show you my quick dessert. 